Okay, how about now? How about now? How we how we sound? Can you hear us now? How does it sound now? We good? Hello. Oh, we're still doing it. Huh? Like, what is going on with my audio? Check your settings. Yeah, that's, hold on. Uh, so that didn't help. Uh, a second here. It's on both ends, so like it's. Is it my Go XLR that's being stupid? Is this well, I'm on my I'm on my phone, so. No, you. It's it's both of us. Like we're both coming in like robots, so I don't know what's the problem I don't know there. What's going or... on Okay, um... Well done. That's, uh... Is it, you think it might be Twitch? Because, uh, uh... I don't know. Is it Twitch? Maybe it might be Twitch. Let me, let me load up another stream, maybe, just see how that'll do. Uh... Mm, ad. Uh, ads. Like ads. Yeah. First, we need that ad money. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> huh? I think it's a little party night. All right. Um. No, it's not. It's not Twitch. I don't think it's Twitch. It's not? I just, I just put on Ninja Stream. He sounds great. So, all right. It would be so my Go XLR. That? So it could be that. Uh, let me let me just check my Go XLR settings. It could be something I fucked up while I was tweaking the settings. All right. And give me a second. Uh, I put on any reverb or anything of the sort. Do you use OBS? Uh, no, I use Streamlabs OBS. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if OBS is the issue, though. No. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to check my output settings, uh, just to make sure everything's fine. Um, I could keep going like this, but I'm not sure if it'll... It's one of those things that... Yeah, like, guys, stuff. let us know, like, you know, when... If he's like tweaking the mic, like you know, let me know. Let us know if you know if it's good, and we'll stop. Yeah, like, like I've had this go XLR for like a year, and I still don't. I still don't know the full ins and outs of it. So I see. There's a good chance. Well, actually, you know, because here's the thing: when I spoke to you, I sound I, I sound fine to you right now, right? Yeah, of course, you sound fine to me right now. Yeah. So either it's the broadcast remix that's having an issue, or it's just outright. Um. Just outright, uh, it could actually be a Twitch issue, so... Let me just check my settings real quick. Yeah. Uh, while we're doing that, everybody come on in, get yourself comfy. Welcome to the writer, welcome to the writer, the writer layer, the writer, uh, the writer cave, is it is? Yeah. The writer grid. Is that I had another name for it, I forgot what it was. It was a long, long time ago. The writer garage, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's see, uh... Broadcast stream mix, device props. Well, that's what I'm saying, Wooshi, is that we're trying to fix it, so. Okay, hold on. Additional device properties, please. Thank you. Am I listening to this? Do anything? Enhancements. That's why I'm saying, like, you know, while he's tweaking the audio, like, if he's tweaking it, Can let us know. All right, so uh, let's see. All right, let me check my OBS settings too, just to be safe. Um, okay, Wait, there you it go. Okay. It fixed. It fixed. There it? we go. Okay. 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 I think maybe it's because I set it to studio quality. I turned it down to DVD there we go. quality. There we go. Okay. There okay. we go. Okay. 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 How? We... Okay. Let me just double check. Just want to make sure. Hold on. Woo. Uh, go back to my thing. All right. Go back here. Go back here. Hit that live button. All right, hey, there it is. All right, finally. Now we know what to do now. 
Oh damn! I just I just heard myself. Okay, that is the best I've ever heard. I think I might have actually found the setting, the stream, the EQ quality that I wanted because I just heard myself. Okay, that sounds good. You sound good. Hell yeah. Okay, that sounds good. You sound good. Okay, let's get that out of there. All right, hey guys, how, sorry about that. How's everybody doing today? How we doing? Hello. As I was saying, today is Monday. Y'all know what that means. It's time for another episode of the greatest show on Twitch today. But for the great Ace Attorney. For the great, for the greatest show with the greatest Ace Attorney on the planet. How? So I gotta ask again. How is everybody doing today? Doing good. Doing good. Yeah, we're doing good. Sorry, I was just messing with the music. Uh, we're all doing good here, man. It's been two weeks. I feel like we've been leaving people, we've been leaving people hanging for too long. Don't you think? Yeah, because we still need to finish the tri the tutorial trial of all. Yeah. Things. Oh God, this game. I feel like we're gonna. It's gonna take us a solid couple of months for us to finish this. Uh, can like. you uh, put your screen on? I can't see. Oh, did it turn off? Oh yeah. yeah, I forgot. I did turn it off. Hold on. Whoa. Let me just. Uh... Because how can I voice act if I can't see it? Absolutely. Yeah. So, oh, wait. Let me. How, just... can I, how can I play with a racist bitch? Oh fuck! I forgot about her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so good when we pummel her ass into the ground. Like I swear. Wait till you see her breakdown. Where do you see my? De okay. <laughs> my brain went somewhere totally else. I don't know. Yeah, what's. Crap, I think I passed on my cough to my roommate. I just heard him coughing down the hall. Uh, I still don't see it. Is it up yeah, I know. I'm, I'm going to put it on in a second. Hold on. Okay. Um, before that, uh, how's the peoples? How's the pebble? Okay, I see uh, Sonic and Shadows that did, just came from the gym. That's good. Oh, you going back to work, Man of Mercy? She. Oh, oh, no, no. He's, oh, he's coming back. She, man. No, what? Man of Mercy says, man says I'm not leaving yet. No, I know, I know that, but it's saying in two hours, like, she. Oh, and yeah. she working on them SFM renders? And Wushi, let me know if you want the uh, anthro version of I Am, and I'll send it. I'll send you the session, because I think I did a pretty good job with it, so. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't like to toot my own horn. Fuck it, I love tooting my own horn. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could, though. I wish I could. I think every guy does. Uh, I, yeah. I had a, I've had this discussion with my roommate, like, a ton of roommates, like, a ton of times. I'm pretty sure if any guy had that ability, they would. But then my mm. roommates are like, no, we wouldn't. And I'm like, yes, you would, you fucking liars. Like, I've had this discussion with them. I know, I know that if any guy had that ability, they would. Because every guy that does have that ability does. EG, what's going on, buddy? Hello. Let me just uh, hit studio mode so I don't like open that screen preemptively. Okay. Uh, no, I need... There we go, source projector. Water Benav? Is that a joke I'm not getting? Water Benda. Bender. Water Benda. Water Water Benda. Water Benda. Yeah, Wanda Benda. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, he clarified it. Okay. All right, let me just bring this up for the Shadzilla yeah, to I, see. Yeah, because I got a voice. Because I got a voice. You, gotta, you have bitch. to do the things. You, you have... God, I, I got a voice racist bitch. I would. Okay. In any other context, I don't think anyone else would be proud to voice racist bitch. To voice a <laughs> no, racist right? bitch. Hey, it's, it, it's worse for you. When we get to uh, Beric Van Zeeks, he's also racist. Oh, for. Oh, God. I don't want to play that. Oh, no. Well. No. Racist at first. Jesus Christ. I uh, mean, you do. I mean, there are some other racist characters in the game, so. Fair. I mean, to be fair, this comes at a time when racism was not yes. as frowned upon. Yeah. Again, this is again. This was the height of the Industrial Revolution, aka the Meiji Revolution. Yep. All right. Let me just uh. I don't like, I keep wanting to crack my fingers. Yes, hashtag racial equality. Let's get that journey. What's uh, funny? Can you put the audio up? Um, the thing is, okay, what's funny is that I actually had a conversation with uh, my Lyft driver who was taking me home from work yesterday. And she was like an elderly black woman. And like, I was just mentioning it to her. And she kind of agreed with me that like, it's weird that like people that have this thing that they want to be that way. But like, 
it, it, even when she says that it's like it's indoctrinated in people, that still doesn't feel right because I feel like those kinds of things are like a common sense issue. Like it shouldn't be. It should be common sense to not hate on another human being, right? So yeah. for me, it still kind of doesn't resonate that that's indoctrinated or anything like that. It, it's just kind of weird how that ends I up know. being. It, it, it's it doesn't click with me. I ask every so often on my Twitter. I ask. I always put that tweet out there where I just don't get it, right? But mm -hmm. I don't think anyone can actually explain to me because, again, it's just not something that you, you know, can explain because it's just yeah. It just it kind of just sits in people's minds there, and it just. Phew. But enough about racism. Well, we'll probably get more into racism in game. the game. So let's just get into the game, BB. Uh, I don't hear the game audio. Oh no, I'm turning it up. Okay. Uh, all right, so let me just turn down. Okay, I have that music. I have it muted. I don't know. Turning up the music. There, there we, go. we go. Let's continue where we left off, folks. The adventure of the Great Departure. Yeah, trial part. Th the part three. Part three of, oh. part three of, the, of the tutorial trial. Part three of fifty-four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to end up feeling as we get further in. Twenty-second of November, one fourteen p.m. Supreme Court of Judicature, courtroom two. I gotta remember if I can even remember the voices I gave everybody. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Oh, let me pull this in closer. Um, Yusato, that's me. Well, I understand you are the judicial assistant to the defense, but why the sudden ingress into my courtroom? Ha! A judicial assistant? And a woman, no less! That's the rules state this. that females are not permitted into this court of law other than to testify. Fuck! I know this is of the time, but still, fuck you! Fuck that stupid law. I want to bitch slap him. I, I don't blame you. He's very bitch slappable. <laughs> this casual sexism. Oh, Japan. You and your sexism. <laughs> and one more thing. Anyway. Like, really, did I actually just pull freaking Jackie Chan's uncle? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Shuffler, we're currently in Japan. We haven't gone to London yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah, we're, in, we're yeah, again. This is a tutorial trial. It's yeah. currently in Japan. Yes, I fully understand. I ask only for five minutes of time. I have some vital evidence I must hand over to the defense. And she please, so slow. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ha! You're too late, little girl. This trial has already been concluded. Five minutes. I will not allow a moment more. But, Your Excellency! I am most grateful. Um, who exactly are you? I'm sorry, there's no time. Please, simply accept this for now. What is it? A report about something. It's in English? It's Giselle Brett's research. English women's? After the trial resumed earlier, I hurried back to the university. I went to Dr. Wilson's laboratory to the medical faculty and borrowed this paper. Yeah, this is just a tutorial. Like, just to give you guys an idea, somewhere around Ace Attorney Investigations with Miles Edgeworth, suddenly uh, these games became the land of exposition. Yes. So... And again, and. and and every first case in uh, Ace Attorney is always the, t the tutorial trial. Yeah. This is literally just the first case, and we're in for the long haul, so... I think yeah. we're actually nearing the end, actually. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah we're, we're in the final part of the trial. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, yes, that's right. Miss Brett was studying under the professor, wasn't she? So, uh, does this research, whatever it is, have something to do with the case? I'm afraid I don't know. I haven't been able to listen to the proceedings of the trial myself. Oh. No, of course not. Hmm. Special characteristics of karate and its effects on human subjects. Interesting. Karate? What's that? I've never heard that word before. Time's up! The prosecution demands the immediate removal of this female trespasser from the courtroom. Fuck you. 
There was a too little there was too little time for me to read it all in detail. But I've surmised what I could on a note just inside the cover. If you think it could be valuable, please cast your over eye over it. This is wonderful. Thank you. Thank, thank you. We'll take we'll take a look at that. Yeah. Goodbye then. And good luck. Let's see here. Okay. A poison made yes. from the bark of certain trees in the jungles of South America. America. The hunters of the region have used this since ancient times to incapacitate their prey. Instant paralysis of the entire body and subsequent death, even in minute, minute doses. I thought it was minute doses. Yeah, minute doses. Root the above mentioned effects occur when the poison enters the body through a wound, such as inflicted by a blowpipe dart. Okay. Due to its ability it to render the human body paralytic, it's believed that the toxin could have applications in anesthetic. However, a solution for the respiratory arrest caused as a result of full body paralysis must be found first, or patients would die of suffocation. Interesting. All okay, right. so it can be injected through a wound, and we don't yes. obviously have a blow pipe, blow pipe dart, so. But he what? But he what? But Wilson was shot. No. And then he. No 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 no, no 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 no! I figured I figured it out. Hold on. What? He had his teeth drilled. That's right, his teeth. That was it. Yes. He, yes. He, so he the, if he drank yeah. it. Through the water. Drink water. Drink it through the water. Yeah, he, yeah, he drank the the carbonated water, but he had he had tooth extracted. So that's how the so that's how the poison got in. Yeah. So because yeah. that's yeah. I mean it's not an open wound, but like it would yeah, still be enough for the poison to get yeah. in. Yeah. Bingo. There it is. All right, let's go. And then she oh she she vanished. She's a ghost. I'm a go yes. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> no one, because the Ghostbusters don't happen for several centuries. <laughs> You've had long enough counsel. We cannot detain our English guest any longer. Oh, this bitch. <laughs> I ask the prosecution and the defense now one last time. Does either side have any further evidence to present to the court? I presume not, but... The prosecution has made its case convincingly enough already. Nothing more to add, Your Excellency. Oh, but we do. Yunosuke, we're out of options here. This is really is our very last chance. Yes, I know. Your Excellency, the defense does have new evidence. Hmm, that look. The unyielding stare of a true Japanese warrior. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Bring it on. <laughs> does it really sound like I'm playing the uncle from Jackie Chan when I do ouchie? Does it really? <laughs> and one more. <laughs> oh, hey, Rachel. Ow. Hurt my jaw a little bit. Well, Miss Brett. Yes, Your Excellency. If you wouldn't mind, perhaps you could grace us with your presence a little longer. It's a delightful invitation, but I'm afraid. It's not so very long until tea time. Fuck you, tea time! <laughs> Forgive me, Miss Brett. It seems I wasn't clear. I realize it was phrased as a question, however. I must ask you to treat that as an order. That's my boy to judge! Yeah! And it's such we're only gonna see him here, and then I... we get a different judge over there. I've said it many times before, but... The Japanese language makes no sense. <laughs> I wanna Fuck throw it I wanna throw a super kick party right about now. <laughs> All over her face. My apologies, dear lady. So, counsel. What is this new evidence that demands the court's attention? The report. Of course. Give me the button, Nada! Yes. yes! Miss Giselle Brett. We understand you are studying under Dr. Wilson at Yume University, doing research. <laughs> Research, but she coincidence perhaps into a deadly poison. What? Poison? Where are you going with this council? A toxin known as Kudare, Your Excellency. Even the slightest amount of this deadly poison entering the body leads to instant death. Objection! What? What complete? 
great and utter nonsense. Grata, you say? I never even heard of it. And one more thing. <laughs> I feel like I have to throw that in every time. You wouldn't have done. What do you mean? I mean that you wouldn't have heard of Kurade before for one very simple reason. <laughs> what? Someone said I was doing Attorney Solid Snake. I'm like, <laughs> Colonel, I have the Kurare report. And I'm like, fuck. Oh my god. Cur you know, now I'm just going to do that all day. Colonel. Oh my god. It doesn't exist in our country, Colonel. It, it doesn't exist? Correct. Which means... No matter what test the police could do for toxins, they'd never identify Kurare. Why? Because there is no test available here that can identify the presence of this highly deadly poison! What? I'm a, I'm a bird. What? Order! 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 Ha! Council, does this deadly poison truly exist? According to this report authored by the visiting research student from England. God damn it. Kurare has long been used by the tribes people of South America as poison to lace their air hose. It seems that it reasonably well known among European doctors and scientists, Colonel. God damn it. To, to lace their adults. Heartless 89 Dune, thanks for the host. The report states that it's produced from the extract of a tree that grows deep in the Amazonian jungle. And it was first brought back to Europe at the turn of the century by explorers. It claims that animals shot by arrows laced with Karari suffer instant death, Colonel. Doesn't that about sum it up, Miss Brett? Ah, oh, Middle Gear. Oh, God. Oh. Objection! Trumpery! These axes are the trumpery! Get that name, get that out. Get that word out of there. Yeah, please. Get that fucking see that word out of there. To start with, if the victim had been administered some of this so-called deadly poison, he would have been squirming and writhing in pain the other diners would have surely noticed. Hmm, that's true. What do you say to that, Inspector? Obviously, I would have noticed a disturbance like that. Hmm, I don't remember anything like that either. I didn't notice the professor being in any kind of pain. According to this, however, Colonel, it's the other way around. What do you mean, the other way around? The very fact that the victim didn't show any visible signs of distress is evidence that Kurare was used. Explain yourself, Counsel. Rachel Hackranch, thank you for the host! The moment thank this you. toxin enters a person's system, it causes instant paralysis, Colonel. In other words, afflicted victims lose all strength and are completely unable to move. I'm just having too much fun with this now. <laughs> Even if they were in total agony, there would be no visible signs of pain at all. How terrible! Obviously, if a man lost all strength in his muscles, he'd collapse on the floor. With a chair under him for support, as Dr. Wilson did, the effects could go largely unnoticed. But I don't follow, Kazuma. This, this paralysis, I thought the poison caused instant death. Mm, the full explanation is extremely unpleasant. The poison causes immediate paralysis, as I said, leaving the victim unable to move. But after a short time, the paralysis is so severe, it causes the muscles that control respiration to fail. Respiration? You guys can't see this, but I have like two fingers on my temple, and for some reason that's helping with the voices. Oh my god! I don't know why I'm doing that, I just can't. In other words, Colonel, the actual cause of death is suffocation. <laughs> and all the while, the victim is conscious and aware, just unable to move. On the you're having way, too much, you're having my... way too much fun with this, Dario. Yeah. Uh, two, two fingers on my temple, like right here on the left yeah, side yeah, of my head. Know, the head. Yeah, on my yeah. head. I just have two fingers yeah, right here. Not, yeah. And this a is somehow helping me do yeah, voices. A temple, a temple means the side of the head. Yeah. I don't know why, I just started doing it, like, as a reflex. Uh, I started doing it as a reflex, and for some reason it just stuck. And now it's, like, helping me get through the voices. Ah. <laughs> and all the while, the victim is conscious and aware, just unable to move. That's... that's hideous! 
to the observer, it would look almost like the victim was slipping peacefully into an endless sleep. But for the victim himself, his final moments would be a living hell. That is the true nature of this deadly Karare poison, Colonel. A poison to surpass Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Mm. <coughs> I'm just suggesting that this bottle council actually contains this terrifying poison. This, this is all very convenient, isn't it? A hitherto unknown poison for which there is no means of testing? What a happy tale for the defense. Ahem, <clears throat> if I may. All these facts, you think you're so clever, but you must be taught. Shut up! It is you who must be taught. She mad. Of, of, of course. Really? <laughs> okay, I didn't need to add the choking sound, but I feel like that's what he would do. Honestly, I feel like that's what he would do. <laughs> She's this mad. Is this is gonna take a toll. This is gonna take a toll on my throat. Hold on, let me. Easy there. Let me get some water. Oh. Also, for those who are wondering, I have like a water bottle and like a can of G Fuel right here. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Anyway. Okay, so, I gotta watch that. This... Okay, we're gonna watch that clip in a minute. Just... Sorry. So, this is how you Japanese behave, is it, bitch? Fuck this bitch. Okay, let, let me see this right quick. Hold on. Let me uh, mute the sound just a second. When, oh I need God. to see what Rachel Hackwrench clipped. Hold on. Wait, what? She clipped something. Wait, why can't I hear anything? Yeah, Wushi. It was oh, Giselle who said, "Giselle who said, shut up." Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna run this. Uh, oh yes, because I have the audio muted on the thing. Hold on. Whoop. Oh, did it? What? Oh, she clipped when I did the choking noise. Oh God. But yeah, Wushi. It was Giselle who said, "Shut up." Yeah, hold on. I gotta mute that thing in the background because I couldn't hear it. And music. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway. Okay, that's good. Let me turn that back up. Alright, that was okay. fun. Okay, I'm probably gonna put that on. Okay, you know what, Rachel? I'm just gonna say right now that's going on the TikTok. Thank you for the clip. Oh God. Anyway. Did you already say that? Yeah, I did. Okay. What? That's why I called her a bitch. You steal another's honest hard work and then announce the results as if you discovered them. Oh God. Okay, this is where her downfall is. She's getting prideful. She's getting mad. I'm appalled. What a loathsome act. Bitch. Me thinks we plucked a nerve. Get it? Plucked? She's got plucked. a swan she's a, in her she's head. She's a bird! She's got a swan in her hat. Oh yeah, the swan I think actually is alive. Yeah, we'll see. Well, Miss Brett, the feeling is mutual. Not gear. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? Capitalizing on the unfortunate circumstances of an innocent man to frame him for a heinous crime really is a loathsome act. Wouldn't you agree? Enough of this! I, for one, refuse to accept it! The idea of some poison that doesn't even exist in the Great Empire of Japan is, is breaking the rules! You broke the rules! <laughs> Uh-oh. That's so funny. Oh, excuse me, Your Excellency. Uh, yes, Miss Brett. May I borrow that bottle for a moment, please? Um, well, yes, I don't see him. Um, why not? <gasps> She's gonna drink it! Aye! Don't get too big for your boots, you insignificant little island boys. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. God, I wish I could super kick a fictional character right about now. <laughs> Jesus! 
this? Sorry. To an English woman such as myself, this whole affair is a farcial comedy. Oh look, a farce. Yes. Your little police games and these foolish choromantics. It's laughable, really. Ooh, I'm gonna whip somebody's ass. <laughs> But I'm getting bored of it all now. It's time for games to end. Chug, 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 chug. Cheers. Bed's got poison in it. Why are you drinking it? Because there's no poison. Well, it could have lost Wait, its potency. What, what are you doing? Wait, I feel like it I did the wrong voice for that one, shit. It might have lost its potency. Hmm. No sparkle left at all. How appropriate for the shabby- Oh, wait, no, no, no! The poison only takes effect through an open wound! Exactly, and he had an open wound in his teeth. Yeah, so she's perfectly fine! Uh. Mm. Dots. Uh. Dot, 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 and then dot, dots dot, 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 fill dot, the dot. room. Goodness. Whatever is the matter, you all look quite stunned. And then a silence filled the room. Fuck! A chilled silence. Chilled chaos. So, no curare. The bottle was clean, is that what you're saying? <laughs> you look quite incredulous, little boy. But of course, that's the simple truth. Oh, that smirk! Fuck that smirk! That's the Dahlia Hawthorne smirk. Oh, for fu- mm! <laughs> I hate this feeling. I hate this feeling of knowing we're in the right and they fucking so walks away. Fuck! Thank you for presenting the findings of my research so con concisely here in the grand venue. Most kind. I'm having Matt on guard flashbacks. Oh, fuck Matt on guard. Oh, God. Fuck this bitch. <sighs> Thank you, waiter. Now then, your excellency. Ah, oh, um, uh, yes, uh, Miss Brett. I should like to be excused now, please. I think I've given more than enough of my time for the furtherance of friendship between our countries. What friendship? Can I burn the witch? Yeah, I feel like this is in that time period. Weren't they burning witches in Salem? I feel yeah, like, I think so. I feel like we could get away with it. I think it was in the 1400s, but either way. When did they stop doing it? I'm not sure. Fuck. Someone, someone in the chat, Google that and type it in the chat, because fuck. Yeah. I need to well, know if yeah, we're still in the... Long, yeah. How long were the Salem witch hunts? Yeah, let, try to figure that out for us, because I need to know if we're still within the right time period to burn this bitch at the stake. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, dear lady. Uh, we are most gratified with all the assistance you have given. Mm. This doesn't make sense. There had to have been poison in that bottle. So how? How did she... Wooshi23, thank you for joining Henshin Club. You're right about in the mail. Yeah. How did, she how did she swallow a whole glass and live to tell the tale? I don't understand it. Well, I suppose it's if nothing else. It is a little far eastern charade. We'll uh, make for interesting conversation at the next party I attend in London. Party crashers! We're going! We're crashing that party! Fuck you, bitch! Yeah. Actually, I think I have, um... I, I don't remember if my, uh, donation... I think my donations still have those henshins. I think... Wushi, uh, one of my, uh, donations actually has that exact phrase. I just can't remember what value it was. I think it might have been the default. It's like, I'd have to it's check. like bitch, we will yeet your ass back to London. Oh, you'll go back to London. You know. Box. I'm back. It's like wrong button. Mm -hmm. We're gonna send you back to London in a box. There you go. <laughs> there, there has to have been poison in that bottle, doesn't there? But it can't have been, because otherwise she would have keeled over dead. Come on, Rinosuke. We have all the clues now. The bottle of water. 
Contains poison. I knew it. The culprit did procure yep. poison to Dr. Wilson's carbonated water. I... The defense refuses to change its position. You're serious. Fool, are you blind? There is no possible way that bottle could contain poison. I mean, we just saw... The spread drinking from the water from it? That's right. But rather comp com complicates your argument, I think. Sorry, I couldn't read that. I believe that complication can be explained. How, exactly? <clears throat> I need to think through all the things that don't quite add up here, one by one. I'm sure the answer is in the evidence we have in the court record somewhere. It has to be. Very well. If the defense truly intends to assert this claim, then I must ask you to support the assertion with evidence. Save here. What explanations? Oh no, I know what the answer is. Yeah, the report. Yes. The answer to this riddle is right here in Mrs. Brett's own research report. That's not a valid explanation. No. After all, we don't speak English. That report is utter gibberish. This imprudent young scoundrel is trying to ridicule the court, Your Excellency. I'm not trying to ridicule anyone, honest. I'm just reading Susato san's notes. I concur. This report is too extensive to be considered in its entirety by the court. You will direct us to the pertinent section, Council. Which section of the report repeals the election to Special characteristics. characteristics. I am. We've been hearing a lot about this curare poison. And it's left me curious about something. Oh, Council. Well, it sounds as though the indigenous hunters have been using this poison for years and years to lace the heads of the arrows that they shoot at whatever prey they're hunting. So we've been led to believe, yes. And the point of hunting is to catch prey to eat. Get to that point, please! But if they were to use these laced arrows, doesn't that mean there would be traces of poison left in the prey the hunters were going to eat? Yes, good point! So surely the hunters wouldn't want to eat their prey, would they? Because then they'd be eating poison. Good gracious, Council! No, that would be madness! But I actually found the answer to that conundrum in this research paper here. Under special characteristics, it says this. The poison starts to work after entering the body through a wound. Through a wound, you say? I see, that makes sense. Yes. The mention of that particular detail seemed a little strange to me, though. <laughs> but it all makes sense when you interpret what's written like this. When Kurara enters the body through an open wound, it has terrifying poisonous effects. However, when it enters the body via the mouth, it has no poisonous effects whatsoever. What? Miss Brett, you authored this research. You knew Kurara's special characteristics, and you knew that you could make a spectacle of drinking that water without any danger to yourself! You... meddling... little... There's the bird! Hey, man Rapscallion! I think it would've been funny if you said Rapscallion! <laughs> like that. Oh, she mad! Well, Ryonosuke... That's... <laughs> well, Ryonosuke, it turns out... You're an even better lawyer than I thought you'd be. Really? Me? Lawyer. Oh, all this poison talk is fascinating, I'm sure, but there's just one more thing. I fail to see how it... Shut up! So, the ill little puppy has a new toy to play with. Some facts he read in a book. But I'm afraid knowledge doesn't suit you, little boy. It only makes you look silly. What are you trying she to say? She is... She is mad. You school, your schoolboyish is logic as a fetal flaw. Schoolboyish? Flaw? As even your brain has managed to introduce, Carrera is safe to ingest. It seems likely that its effects are neutralized by the acidic nature of its gastric suckers. Suck on these nuts! Suckus, suckus, you suck! Suck. Oh, uh, yes, uh, well, uh, of course. Gastric suckers? What are they? So, if this little poison is completely harmless when drunk, 
The professor wouldn't have died when he swallowed it, would he? He had a tooth extraction. That's right. Good gracious. That's basic science. Science that even a schoolboy should be able to understand, no? I, you are going to eat those fucking words, I know it. Oh. Order! Order in court! Order! The logic holds. If the lady and the professor drank the same poison, they would be affected in the same way. Ah. Uh, are you trying to suggest? Yes! This karate poison is completely irrelevant to the case on trial! That's right. Fuck that smug! Ugh! Fuck that smirk! She, surely even a little cockroach like you could understand something as simple as that! <laughs> she got the wingspan. I know. <laughs> Wait. What is this pulling up inside me? I've never felt like this before. The sort of conviction to break down all the discrepancies. It's so intense. Almost rage-like. And more than anything else, it's an animalistic desire to take down my prey. Yes! There it is! There it is! <laughs> like her eyes went so big. I know! I don't think so, Miss Giselle Brett. How... How dare you use that tone with me? You know very well that there is no fatal flaw here. You know exactly why, even though both you and the victim swallowed the same poison. You are alive, but Dr. Wilson is dead. Counsel, I sure I don't need to remind you, you must provide compelling evidence, as we now know that this poison is completely harmless when ingested. Why would Dr. Wilson alone have been killed by the Kurare? And we present the, 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 the dental the report. report! Boom, bitch! As Miss Brett so readily pointed out, she drank the same water as the professor. However, there was a fundamental and fatal difference between the two diners. A fatal difference? <laughs> the toxic effects of Kurare are only felt when the poison enters the body through an open wound. So for a healthy person with no injuries, drinking it is completely harmless. But... What if there was a wound inside the mouth of the person drinking the poisoned water? Inside? Yes, like the wound you might have. If you had just been to the dentist. And had a tooth extracted, for example. Ah! Miss Brett, you've acknowledged many times in your testimony already. That you were well aware of Dr. Wilson's dental appointment that day. Uh. So that's it. You used that knowledge to orchestrate this. <laughs> Uh-oh, she's about to snap. <laughs> is, is she... laughing? I don't like to repeat myself, but honestly, I can't resist. These childish courtroom games and your half-baked arguments are so... puerile. What? What do you mean? Don't worry, little schoolboy. You'll find out soon enough. <gasps> you see, when you leave vital evidence lying around, you never know what might happen to it. No! I mean, it could just... slip. You... You... Bitch! Oh dear, how careless of me. Mm. 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 Oh, that's it. Mm. He's going down! Mm. She's... Mm. She's going... She's going mm. down. <laughs> Can't must must choke the floor. Bitch. The floor is yours. The floor is yours. Fuck. <laughs> I'm afraid some crucial evidence may have just been tragically destroyed. You bitch. Must get her convicted. No. What is it? What just happened? 
it's an English woman. She just trashed the bottle in the Supreme Court. What a terrible blunder. Officer, what are you waiting for? Collect as much of that water from the Pokemon's bottle as possible. At once! You're wasting your time. Oh, uh, fuck this hole! Again, it's Dahlia Hawthorne. Fuck. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> it's British Dahlia Hawthorne. Hate this bitch. This delightful carpet under my feet here was a gift from the British Empire. I assure you, it will soak up the water beautifully. Wow! God. Screw you! I hate her. I hate her so much. I know. It's like, screw you! Oh. You have neither the technology nor the presence of mind to recover it. I'm sick of this bitch. <laughs> uh, how could you? You won't get away with this. You can thump the benches, shout as much as you like, little boy. But I'm afraid we'll never know now, will we? If there really was a poison in the bottle, or not. <laughs> We're gonna get her. Ew. We'll get her. And let us not forget, we still have some very compelling evidence left intact. Isn't that right, counsel for the prosecution? Oh, of course, of course. You're referring to this photographic print, I presume, dear lady. <laughs> That's right. And really, looking at this photograph, it's as clear as day, isn't it? The poor professor was sitting with, a, with his back to me. So of course the only person who could have shot him from the front is the little schoolboy. No. He killed the victim that day using karate. And then, learned to frame you know skin little for the crime. You waited until he picked up the pistol you arranged for him to find the floor. Where you shot the professor's dead body in a chest with your own hidden gun. Then, the confusion that followed, all you had to do was turn the dead professor in his chair around. See? You had every opportunity to commit this crime. <laughs> what a wonderful imagination you have, young man. <sighs> a hidden gun, you say? And I shot the professor's dead body, did I? Well, I'm terribly sorry, but you don't have a shred of evidence. Exactly! And as you have nothing to support your wild claims, the prosecution's stance remains unchanged. The victim, Dr. Johnny Wilson, was killed by a gunshot to the chest. The livid and cold blood by accused Ryunosuke Naruhodo. Ugh. Hmm. It's unbelievable. How can this be happening? He had her. But now, is she really going to get away with it? The way she destroyed that evidence was obscene. Ryunosuke. Yes, we've come this far, but now, now you're the only one who can finish it. What? What do you mean? We've lost the vital piece of evidence. It's true, so if there are any clues left for us to use now, it must be in your head. In head? You told me before that your powers of observation were the one thing you could really depend upon. Well, yes, that's true, but I didn't notice the man to notice that this woman was a foreigner with a swan on her head. So, think back again now. Try to remember every last detail about the scene that day. Everything you saw, everything you felt, every color, every smell. What I saw, what I felt. Every color. Ah! <gasps> Kazuma, right? Somewhere in the vibrant memory of the same scene in my head. Could that be another clue to expose the identity of Dr. Wilson's killer? Of course there's a, there's clue. a clue. It's right there! Yeah! Actually, Kazuma, I think I might have something. Thinking back over everything I saw, I think I might have uncovered another clue. Ha! <laughs> you always have something up your sleeve, don't you, Rinosuke? 
Come on then. Let's wipe the smug smile off that Englishwoman's face with some evidence. All right. I can't wait. It's okay. That. Huh? I don't know about that word. Niggling. <laughs> Twitch, yeah, I said, I, Twitch, I said niggling, not the other word, okay? Don't cancel me over this. Just say nagging. It's been niggling at me for a while that something feels amiss in my memories of that day. Whatever it is could be the key to arriving at the truth about all this. It's here somewhere. The clue that shows who Dr. Wilson's mere killer must have been is. And we go over here. Let me hit present. The blood cause pain, hell yes. Yeah, cause yes. Take that! Take that! Hey, Inspector Hosanaga, answer me this! The, yes, what is it? Ugh. It's still miles away. Possibly thinking about that bottle being smashed. <clears throat> As you've said a number of times now, you strive for perfection in your investigations, don't you? Absolutely! Where are you going with this little boy? What memory? Uh, for some reason I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, I, I hear you now. It's just n yeah, my microphone's a little weird. Sometimes it'll r randomly cut out and then okay. come back on you. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I saw the scene shown in this photographic print with my own eyes that day. And I saw that on the wooden base of the plate that the steak was served on was a spattering of blood. What? Oh, uh, really? And what of it? And what of it? Hold on. Uh. Huh? Hold on, hold on. Uh, can everyone in the chat hear me? Hello? I hear you. Nah, I know, but. I'm trying to just, I just want to make sure that people can hear oh, me. Oh, can you guys hear him? Okay, okay yeah, they, they can hear me. Hear okay, they're okay. okay. Obviously, that must have happened when you shot the professor. No, that can't be the case. <clears throat> Take a good look at the photograph and the relative position of everything there. The plate of steak is almost directly behind the victim. If I'm supposed to have shot Dr. Wilson in the chest from the front, there's no way that blood from the victims would have ended up directly behind him. <clears throat> yes. For blood to have made it onto the plate, it implies the plate as was between the victim and the shooter. Which means the shooter must have been sitting opposite the professor as you were. Giselle Bright. I beg your pardon? This, this is beyond ridiculous, fabricated nonsense. Is the court seriously expected to believe something that accused us apparently just remembered seeing? Oh, <gasps> he said hold it! This... This could be the moment that my entire career in the police force has been leading to. Look at Brett! Inspector, you mean... Yes. Look at Giselle. I took the plate in the interest of preserving evidence from the scene of the crime. I took it, meet it all, and I don't care if they call me a crime safety because of it. You, you did what? I took the stick that you had been eating, Miss Brett. I took the stick that the sergeant had been eating. And I did it all in the name of justice. You bastard. Then we can find out for sure whether or not there's a blood stain on Miss Brett's plate. We must examine it now. Now, get down now. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Sonic Shadow Fan. Appreciate you coming in. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Inspector! Yeah. The court wishes to examine the plate from the victim's table immediately. Yes, sir! Mmm, beef. Sorry for the delay. Here is what you ordered the steak. Well, what about the blood? Is there blood on it? Of course there isn't! 
Quickly, Inspector! The Blood Man! Show the court! Of course, examine the plate at your leisure. Hmm. No. No blood. No blood anywhere. But, but no, that's impossible! I think they switched plates. I know they, I they would have had to. I'm sure of it. What's right there on the table behind the professor? There was blood on the side plate. What an unbecoming expression, little boy. I am sick of this bitch. Oh, you see, this is why I always say you can't trust what the Japanese tell you. Oh my fucking god! <sighs> Nani? Ah. <laughs> I couldn't agree. Why? I don't even want to say that one. That one's fucking. Bro, you throw your own country under the. Wow. Oh my god. I'm not even going to repeat that shit. What a dick. I believe we may have finally reached a conclusion in this trial. Let's hope so. Th this let's pretend attempt in a courtroom proceedings is painful to watch. But I do promise to do my best to forget all about it when it's over. Oh my. Mm. Oh my god. <sighs> this sorry looking stick reviews effects all too clearly. If the sorry looking accused wishes to examine it again, be my guest. We will examine it. Thank you. Let's take a look, shall we? Is the plate I saw, I thought I saw just a figment of my imagination? We will find out momentarily. We will examine it now. Hey, buddy. This emblem on the side of the plate. Is it a cat? It's a cow, obviously. Most likely because the restaurant's signature just is beef steak. It seems a lot of different restaurants have their own unique tableware. So this is the symbol of La Carnival, is it? Oh! oh no, 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 I get it, I get it. You know why it's called La Carnival? What? Ah, uh, carne Carne Carnival. Spanish steak. Yep. Oh, damn, it's over, bite. Look at the stick, check the stick itself. <gasps> the Coban! Huh? That's what the old man was looking for. What in the world is this? I think it's a Coban coin. The hallmark is from the Hoei era, I believe. No, no, I don't mean what is it. I mean, what's it doing there? Wait, did you just say it was a Hoei Koban? Yeah, uh, apart from the meat juice, it looks to be in good condition. I imagine it's very valuable. Hmm, this isn't the first time today that there's been talk of a Hoei Koban. I've heard of pearls before swine, but I've never heard of bullion and bullion. <laughs> I don't think you ever will again. It's extraordinary, no. This means... So now we present the stake again. Yep. This, this is it now. I've lost. We're no skay. It's not over yet. Not until the final gavel. Hmm? Never stop believing in yourself. Keep looking forward, no matter what. You lift your, you lift your head up, boy. Believe in myself? Really? Hmm. All right. Oh. Maybe I should at least examine the evidence for myself. As the evidence requested by the defense has not been shown to be problematic in any way, I presume any further examination of evidence in this trial will be unnecessary. Does the defense have any objection? That bloodstain was going to clinch the trial for me. Go on. Rachel, go to Chipotle and order the smoked brisket. Thank me later. Can this plate of steak reveal any other clues at all? There's another clue. Of course. Ah. Your Excellency, please, wait. This plate of beef is hiding another clue. Another clue that will reveal the shocking truth. The only thing that's shocking is an unhealthy fascination with beef steak. Your Excellency, I think I made myself clear, haven't I? I will not be able to turn a blind eye to any more unnecessary procrastination in this trial. I'm sorry, Miss Brett, but we must ensure a thorough examination of the evidence. I will not give a ruling until I'm completely satisfied that all reasonable doubt has been dispelled. I see. As a newly affirmed ally of my country, that's still your position, is it? Thank you, Your Excellency. 
Counsel for the defense, you will now clearly show the court to what you are alluding. The steak? Where precisely on this plate of beef steak is this new clue to be found? And we just figured out where that is, so I'm just gonna hit it right the there. steak. Yep. Oh, wait, I hit the wrong button. So no, you didn't. No, no, no. Was it supposed to hit me through the whole dialogue again? I'm pretty sure I was supposed to present it. And I think I just scanned it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, I had to do that to open it up. Yeah, yeah. There. Good, good gracious, that's... Uh, uh, hold on! What the... What on earth? Well, I was about to say, fuck. Ahoy, arrow one at that. Miss Brett, this is in fact the beef stick that you ordered at the restaurant on the day in question, is it? Tell me, why is there an old coin seemingly hidden underneath the meat? Shut up. What a ridiculous question. How should I know? She's mad. I've never seen that thing before in my life. I don't know what this is, but I want no part of it. I fail to see how this is relevant. A coin under the meat? That could have simply been a careless mistake by the chef in a moment of distraction. Don't be absurd. We're supposed to believe that this happened by accident in the kitchen? Or our Hoei Koban just happens to be hidden underneath that piece of steak? This turns out to be irrelevant to the case. I'll rip up my ticket to Great Britain right now. Damn. That's right. It can't be a coincidence. Your Excellency. Yes, Counselor. A rare Hoei Koban just happens to be hidden underneath that piece of steak. If this turns out to be irrelevant to the case, I'll give up my lawyer job right now. By all means, don't let us stop you. No one invited you anyway. Shut up. Perhaps, little boy, you should realize that it is you who is relevant. Even though I'm the one on trial here? The point is, it's essential that you ask the owner of this coin if it explain what's it doing under that steak. The owner? Yes, it's obvious. There's only one person that can belong to. The owner of that Koban that can be found underneath the steak was the old man. Jerio Kurakota. Obviously, it can only be the antiques dealer and owner of Rasute, Kyurio Kurakuta-san. Kyurie? As in Mr. Cucumber something? Honestly, these ridiculous Japanese names are quite unfathomable. Oh my fucking god. Oh, yes. The old man who testified earlier alongside the military sergeant, correct? Yes, Your Excellency. I remember him saying he was up to something with his Koban coin when it happened. At exactly the moment the gun was fired. A gunshot interested me not. I was far too busy on the floor. Too busy on the floor? Sorry, what were you doing? Hunting for treasure. Indeed, the Hoi Era Koban, my prized coin. Then this Hoei era Koban, do you mean to tell me? No, 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 please! Why would Korakuta san Koban be sandwiched between the victim's beef stick and its plate? It makes no sense! Which is why I'm asking to bring Korakuta san back to the witness stand so we can ask him. Officer, bring both witnesses that testified earlier back in here. Without a moment's delay. I can't believe you come back round to that pair again. But I have a hunch, a strong hunch, that if we chase down the real significance of this Koban, we'll find that it's a key element in the case. And here we are at the four-man witness booth. Yep. Hi, Waluigi. Where? What's this all about? Why have I been called up again? <laughs> Where? You Where? alright? Yeah, I'm going to just munch it out some pizza. Oh. Don't you realize it is dinner time for little baby Aido? <laughs> when my son's belly is empty, he's fiercer than a pack of wolves. Oh, yes. 
Exploited by the police we were, like miserable dogs forced to bear false witness. And when cast from this courtroom myself, I became a ruined man in a trace, a worthless, withered antique. Nothing more have I to say. The sun has set on this Rasute shop's owner's existence. Be that as may, Korokuta-san, something has come to light that requires your clarification. As far as your Rasute memory, sirs, have you ever seen this go back? That's... Yes! That's it! The one! The very one! The very oh, exact one that it is! He cut the knife with his boot! Ow! Fuck! A resplendent, splendiferous hallway treasure that my rusty bones managed to replace that fateful day! He cut the knife with his shoe! Jesus! Ah! Oh. It can't be! Hmm... As I thought... Young man! Enlighten this decrepit old fool! Put me out of my misery! Where? Where was my treasure? Where was it dropped? Um, I'm not sure if it was dropped anywhere. We found your coin, sandwiched between a beefsteak and its plate, soaking in the season's meat's juices. S -s sandwiched S -s Soaking? S -s -s Seriously? Clearly, it couldn't have fallen there by accident. Which means... Somebody must have hidden it there on purpose. Somebody concealed my hallway treasure? Between a slab of meat and a metal plate? Who would do such a thing? Such an unconscionable thing! <laughs> I was gonna take a toll on my throat. He's bad. He's bad. He's bad. <laughs> Excuse me. Could I say something? Yes, of course. Proceed, Inspector Hosanaga. I mentioned this earlier on in the trial, but I was working undercover in the restaurant in order to investigate another case. Ah, yes, that's right. The secret undercover operation. La, La Carnival is a high-class Western dress cuisine restaurant. It attacks wealthy diners, including many foreigners. Recently, there's been a run of similarly executed thefts targeting the restaurant's witch clientele. A number of such incidents have been reported to the police bureau. Hmm, rugged crimes indeed. We wanted to we wanted to nip the case in the bud quickly, especially with so many foreigners being affected. So that's why you were sent in under cover, is it? Yes. I took on the job of waiter at the restaurant in order to flush out the criminal. It seems likely that this Corban incident is the work of the same thief. Hmm. So unbeknownst to us, there's a master thief at work in the restaurant on a regular basis. The place was already the scene of several crimes, it seems. I don't know about the master thief part, but the identity of the person who stole the hit Korekutas Koban is all too clear. What? What? I think the court would like to hear the defense's view on this matter. Tell us, who is the despicable scoundrel that stole Korekutas Koban and hid it under the stake? Well, I know it's that yes. Sir. Yes, sir, no, sir. Obviously, it can only be you, Sergeant Yes, sir, no, sir. I feel like Sergeant Diaz. Uh, I feel oh, okay. I was think I was. I don't know. What? Where? How? How dare you, you, you monster! Monster! I stole that Coban, did I? I'm the master thief of the Carnival, am I? You're seriously accusing me of these crimes, Cadet? But it wasn't me. It was I, though. And this is the master maybe handled this. You would push the blame for your crimes onto your own son, an innocent little baby. It's you who's the monster, Sergeant Nosa. That's fucking adorable. Oh, oh no, 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 look at, look at his mustache. That was really wild, Luigi. <laughs> that was Wario. Here, Pawn Imperial Army Sergeant Yes, sir, no, sir, preparing to stand down in the Supreme Court, sir. Where? Oh my god. The fucking mustache. <laughs> the fucking horse music.
Do any of you know of the extraordinary low wages in the Nippon Imperial Army? Pay is those it expects to keep our country safe. I understand. A temporary increase in taxation, owing to the recently ended conflicts, remains in place. And I have heard it's hard for lower ranking soldiers to make a living, yes. All I want is to put a hot meal on the table for my son. Where? That's why you were stealing things at the restaurant? The place is heaving with money. <laughs> oh my god. Every three days, I'd go there and do reconnaissance for a target. And I'd enjoy chomping my way through a good steak at the same time. Sounds like he doesn't even bother with a knife and fork, which is worryingly believable. And your target that day was the old man and his Koban. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, he was an easy mark. I slipped the coin into my pocket without any trouble at all. Hmm, a very pedal phantom thief you are. I was all set to leave the stake when I halfway through devouring when it happened. Yes, when the professor was shot. Oh, sorry, yes, when the professor was shot. I knew that if the police conducted a search and found the coin in my pocket, I'd be finished. I do too, so I hid the incriminating evidence as fast as I could, on the double. I slipped it under the stake. Hoping that I'd be able to rendezvous it with it again at a later date. I'm amazed the old man is so calm about this. I... I know, right? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. That's me. Oh, that's you. Perhaps you could carry on with this absurd prattling in your own time. Well, Miss Brett. Oh, of course, dear lady, of course. How rude of us. I'm quite sure there's no need to detain you any longer at all. May the esteemed gentlewoman please be excused, Your Excellency. <laughs> mm, indeed. The theft of the Koban was clearly perpetrated by this baby-saddled sergeant. It would certainly appear to be unrelated to Dr. Wilson's murder. Of course it is. How to get coin under a lump of meat? The sheer nonsense of such an idea astounds me. N nonsense is it? Ah, uh, um, uh, well, uh, oof. And as for picking up your steak and butting it into it without using a knife or fork, it is beyond nonsense. It's pure madness. Wait. Wait. What? She just kind of sold herself out. Yeah, she did. Thank you, Axony. Good luck, everyone. You missed the entire judge dialogue. I know, I know. Uh, it's like... And good day. Fuck this hoe! Where do you think you're going? Mm. Huh? Yosuke, what's the matter with you? This is no time for daydreaming. Oh, no, it's just... Something about Miss Brett's parting words there got me thinking. I can't quite work out what exactly. Something she said jarred with me. I feel like there was a contradiction in there somewhere. Something didn't quite add up. If that's the case, don't just stand there thinking. Make your voice heard. Sorry. You can think later, but if you don't call out now, it'll be too late. The trial will be over. Hold it. Wait, Miss Brett. And what is it now? I'm afraid, just one last time, there's something I'd like to ask you. I'd like you to explain the contradiction in your parting words from just a few moments ago. What are you talking about? What contradiction? Objection! What new student nonsense is this? Well, what parting words are you talking about, Rinosuke? Hiding a coin under a lump of meat? The sheer nonsense of such an idea astounds me. And as for picking up steak without biting into it without using a knife or fork, it's beyond nonsense. It's pure madness. Yes, I'm right. What she said there exposed an undeniable contradiction. I'm going to need to see evidence, Council. If Miss Brett's words truly are contradictory, where is the evidence to prove it? It's A the beef! Place. 
steak that Miss Bright had been eating before the professor was killed. Yes, go on. More accurately, Your Excellency. The steak that was on the victim's table just before the professor was killed. Now you're just splitting hairs! Not true. Doesn't something about this steak strike you as very unnatural? Unnatural? What on earth do you mean? It's extremely obvious. I'm talking about the shape of the edge where it's been eaten. Uh. I see you've noticed it too, Miss Brett. Noticed what exactly, Counsel? Just a few months ago, Miss Brett claimed no Englishman could even contemplate picking up a steak and biting into it without using a knife and fork. Of course she did. She's a refined English gentlewoman herself. Then take a good look at the steak. In particular, the edge where it's been eaten. As you can see, there are clearly defined barbaric teeth marks there. Ow. Oh. <laughs> ah. It looks like Miss Brett has realized something. So, if the witness as she claims wouldn't contemplate any anything without using a knife and fork, there shouldn't be teeth marks in the steak at all. What, what is your actual point? Perhaps the delightful Miss Brett was ravenously hungry and couldn't help? Shut up. Uh oh. Oh, she's losing it. She's losing it. Oh, um, whatever you say, dear lady. As I said, I really must be leaving now. You're not going anywhere. Afternoon tea with the Minister of Justice cannot possibly wait any longer. Oh, it can wait. 20 it to can life. Wait. Yeah. In prison. 20 to life, bitch. Of course, of course. This will not be over in the blink of an eye. That's the shot. I am about to put this rookie in his place. Just it. Shut up. I have had enough. You irritating little spectacled samurai relic. Ooh. Of, of course. Yelly. He just got roasted. Burnt. Such is the pain family legacy. He just got roasted. Sick burn. <laughs> What's the matter, Miss Brett? Have we ruffled your feathers? Clearly, the witness knows what this means. She's realized the catastrophic implication these teeth marks in the stake have for her. Rinosuke, do you know where you're going with this? Yes. Now at last, it's all come together. The mysterious teeth marks in a stake that had allegedly been eaten with cutlery. The reason why the bloodstain I know I saw somehow seems to have disappeared. And most importantly, the evidence that proves once and for all who shot Dr. Wilson that day. I accept that these teeth marked in the stake are a little unnatural, as you put the counsel. But what exactly are you suggesting that tells us? Everything, Your Excellency. Everything? Yes, I believe that these barbaric teeth marks in the stake here amount to conclusive evidence in this case. Evidence that will prove beyond any doubt who shot Dr. Wilson. Shut up! Conclusive evidence? How many times have I heard that today? You wouldn't know the meaning of that phrase, typical Japanese empty threats. Oh my god. Bitch, do I look like an empty threat to you? Do Jeez. I? Jesus. How can you be so sure? Oh, it's quite simple. If you really had such conclusive evidence, you would have presented it to the court long ago. We could do it right now, then. Actually, the evidence I'm talking about hasn't been brought before the court yet. Hasn't been? What? But just because it hasn't been shown yet, doesn't mean that the evidence does not exist. This is absurd! The trial has run several hours already and you say there's evidence yet to be brought forward? There can't be! I don't believe you have it! I don't, but there is someone who does have it. Someone in this very courtroom. <laughs> if that person is willing to submit the piece of evidence I'm referring to, it will solve every remaining mystery about this case. 
Very well. I have a feeling this will be my last request of the defense in this trial. Who possesses a conclusion? Uh, Inspector! Inspector Hosanaga! The answer is obvious. It's Inspector Hosanaga. What? I, I have it? Yes. You, you think I've been withholding conclusive evidence? That's ridiculous. <clears throat> no, 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 no. I'm not saying that. Everyone's attention is focused on the stake with the teeth marks. Yes. Now, earlier this afternoon, Sergeant Gnosa told the court the following. I'd enjoyed chomping my way through a good steak. And as well as admitting to stealing Kurakuta-san's coin, he told us they slipped it under the steak. You, you what's it, cadet? I'm a superior officer. Wait. <laughs> Sergeant Gnosa, could you please confirm something for me? Was the steak that you put the coin under, in fact, your own steak? Oh. Affirmative, of course. I might be a soldier in the Imperial Nippon Army, but still. I'm not brave enough to ask a foreign lentil gentle lady if she'd mind me manhandling her meal to hide something in it. In other words, the stake that the detective submitted as evidence, uh, evidence earlier was in fact Sergeant Nosa's meal. Objection. But that makes no sense! That plate was taken from the victim's table! Objection. If the gentlewoman doesn't take bites out of her steak, nor did she have any opportunity to steal the coin. Oh. Of course I didn't steal it. To even suggest for such a thing would be a front to the entire British Empire. Well then, how do you explain this paradox? <laughs> Snake! Damn it! You caused the time paradox! Oh my god. God. Exactly. Surely you're not going to suggest. That the sergeant switched the two stakes over. <clears throat> you did switch the plates? Well, after it happened, the, um... When I saw the civilian had been murdered right in front of my eyes like that, I panicked. As I said, I immediately lifted my stick and hit the coin underneath it. But then when the waiter announced he was an undercover policeman, I thought I'd had it. If he decided to investigate my slab of meat, that'd be it. I'd be getting my marching orders. So when the cadet here was arrested and taken off to the kitchen, I seized my chance. <laughs> With military precision and timing. I switched my stick with the one on the foreign lady's table. What? You can't have... I, I never saw you do such a thing. It was called Operation Lightning Bolt. There was no time for strategic planning. It was do or die, tell you. So yes, I did what had to be done. Unbelievable! Well then. However, fear not. Prosecute the sand. What now? I swear on the brass buttons on my uniform, that is all I did, sir. Ah, you did! That's plenty, Sergeant! Yes. So, if Sergeant knows to switch the plates over, it means he took Miss Brett's steak and the plate it was on back to his own table. Yes, that follows. Inspector Hosonaga. Yes. Earlier in this trial, you told the court this. You said that you had not only taken Miss Brett's steak after the incident, but also the sergeants. That to preserve evidence, you had taken both. Ah. Oh, she oh, lost it. Oh, she's losing it. That's correct. Then please present it to the court now. The plate that was actually on the victim's table at the precise moment he was shot. Shut up! Shut up! What can possibly tell us this now? I mean, a cold slab of tough beef. I, I can't have the slightest bearing on the case. Objection. No, you're not wriggling your way out of it this time, lady. Uh, I beg your pardon? Surely you're not that forgetful. Surely you remember the reason why the steak pan promises to prove such a problem for you, no? Hmm, <laughs> you're the one who decided it was the problem, not me. That's the only point you get. The reason the defense asked to see the plate was to confirm something the defendant remembers seeing. 
Brett <laughs> thinks he remembers. I'm quite sure of what they saw, Miss Brett. On the side of the plate that was on the table directly behind Dr. Wilson, there was a clear splattering of blood from the gunshot wound to the victim's chest. I believe the defendant's memory serves him well. And now we have the evidence to prove it. The plate you were eating off of. Let us not prolong this any further. Inspector, you will show the evidence to the court. Present the beef steak and the plate that was originally on the victim's table at the time of the incident. Yes, sir. We're getting there, baby. Yep. Sorry for keeping you. Sorry for keeping... I mean, I... It is the other stick and its plate. Please, feel free to examine it. There it is! There it is. And look! Perfectly the cut! The stain! It's clearly visible! Look! Yes. Now this makes everything clear. The blood you can see on the side of the plate. Shows that at the moment the victim was shot, he was facing the table with his back to me. In other words, it's impossible for naruto san to have shot the victim. Uh, it, it can't be! In fact, there's only one person who could possibly have shot Dr. Wilson from the front. I'm sure everyone knows right now who that person is. Uh, um. That's right. It's Giselle Brett. It's you! <gasps> Incoming! Here it comes. Outdone by a Japanese? Me? By a Japanese schoolboy? No. No. No! <laughs> the little, the little chick, she kills! The fucking little tiny baby swans! What the fuck? Wait. Oh, the ugly duck! <laughs> She's off to heaven now. Oh, wait. No, no, she's not supposed to go to heaven. <gasps> Look at the little baby bird. <laughs> and of course, the ugly duckling. <laughs> the ugly duckling goes straight for pain. What the fuck? Goodbye, sweet bitch. And let the racism sing me to thy rest. Please excuse my little outburst. I briefly lost my composure. That's the greatest thing ever. That was amazing. That was an amazing breakdown. <laughs> Most unbecoming behavior for an English gentlewoman. Forgive me. Oh, you'll f you you can forget that, but not your racism. I see Whoa, how that Ms. is. Brett. <laughs> I think it's time you told the court what actually happened that day. The truth this time. Gladly, Your Excellency. Even in defeat, she's a snooty bitch. Just like Dahlia. Yep. Yeah. It was I who took the professor's life using career. As you surmise, I chose that particularly day, particular day f for one very important reason. The professor had a dental appointment for the extraction of one of his teeth in the morning. So you plan to kill the professor knowing that no choice of poison would be found in this water? Because Garare is unheard of here in Japan. Yes. Of course, I never intended to remain as long as I did. I only need to see the professor take one tiny sip of his water and it would be all be over. I would place the steak I had ordered in front of him to make it appear as though he had been dining alone. And leave it immediately, however. Before any of that happened, there was an unexpected visitor at the press table. That would be me, I suppose. Yes, you. Who else? Wow. Such a trifling matter, but the fact that you decided to come over to greet the professor meant that I had lost my chance to slip away unnoticed. 
In due course, the professor took a sip of his water and was paralyzed. I made sure he was sitting in the chair that such that he wouldn't fall. There was no going back at that point. So I concocted a plan that on the spur of the moment. Plan to pin Dr. Wilson's murder on this innocent man. I happen to know that the professor always carried a gun. I decided to use that fact to my advantage. I had the bottle of Carrera in my handbag. And... My own pistol concealed under my skirt. <laughs> I don't know why I found that funny, but okay. Uh, under your skirt? So I was right. There were two guns. Yes. And then I finished my coffee and got out to leave. That's when I noticed the professor's gun, which you had presumably placed on the floor. Hey, so you were sure that I would notice it. And everything went according to plan. He noticed the gun as I intended. And then, just as you bent down to pick it up, That's when you shot the professor with your own gun. Even though at that point he was already dead. Naturally, the gunshot caused a commotion, at which point by the waiter appeared. Obviously, I assumed Neruhodo-san was the culprit and apprehended him. I took him to the pantry that adjoins the kitchen and locked him inside. That's when I took the opportunity to turn the professor and his chair around. Because, of course, you needed to make it look like the defendant had shot Dr. Wilson from where he'd picked up the gun. Bitch, can we at least see your eyes? So there you have it. That is the entirety of my misdemeanor. This is not a misdemeanor! This is okay. murder! It's crime and murder, you bitch! God, so... Oh god, um, Wushi just said they probably never modeled in her eyes, and now I'm just terrified of anyone who rips that model and puts in SFM. I'm terrified oh, of it, like, for fuck. Oh, good lord. Your Excellency. Yes. I wonder, may I speak with you in private later? Uh, what? I shall call on you. Oh, oh wait, wait, no, I have something better for that. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you. Good day then, everyone. <laughs> I, hope you can I hope you can forgive me. Naruhodo-san. <laughs> I love Wushi's reaction. We sorry, but um, we don't forgive racists. Fuck this bitch. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just remembering her hat flying her out of the room, and I just yeah. hear that in my yeah. head. Oh. <laughs> It would seem that this trial has finally run its course. I presume the prosecution is in agreement. It, this, this can't be. Takeski Auchi does not lose. Not to the likes of this, this rookie student. You'd better guards start getting used to tough opposition. Ah, we are not scared of the well, Yes. This insult to the Auchi family name will never be forgotten. You've become conceited with age, Council. The old have to stand aside and make way for the new. It's the way of the world. You never forget that. Here comes. Yes! He's bald, bitch. I 
Thousands of millennia may pass, and still the Ouchie clan will never measure up to the Naruto clan. Foreshadowing in its greatest for, form. Foreshadowing for many, 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 many years of games. This trial in the Supreme Court of Japan will, I believe, go down in history as the start of a new chapter in our country's judicial system. Despite being summoned as the accused, you, Ryonosuke Naruhodo, presented an excellent case. Hey, thank you, Your Excellency. The use of evidence and deduction to unravel the truth is a modern methodology. After all, it has only been a few short decades since our country opened its doors to the wider world. But the Western ideas of science are rapidly gaining acceptance here. I feel sure that science will soon bring new methods of investigation and new procedures of justice. Luminar! <laughs> a new future of law awaits, but what it will look like, I cannot begin to imagine. That is for the young to pursue. Kazuma Asogi. Yes. After this trial, you are set to embark on a journey of discovery to the illustrious British Empire. Learn all you can. Absorb everything of the wider world that you are able to. And do not forget to fulfill the mission imposed upon you. I understand, Your Excellency. Colonel. What was that thought about? Why do you look so grave all of a sudden? Ah, uh, never mind. As for you, Ryonosuke Naruhodo. Oh, uh, yes. In you, I sense, how can I put it, unusual potential. I sense the blood of a right, baby! <laughs> I very much look forward to seeing how you carry that onwards. Thank you, Your Excellency. <laughs> wait, where's the verdict? Oh, wait. Here it I... comes. Here it comes. Hell yeah. It is time to deliver the final verdict. I hereby find the defendant, Ryunosuke Naruhodo. Bam! Bam! Yes! Woo! Sakura leaves in celebration! Woo! Confetti! Yeah! Hell yeah! Woo! Say the old judge, this court is adjourned. You better say, this court is now adjourned. Yes! There it is! We lived! Party cannon! 22nd November, 2.46 p.m. Supreme Court of Judicature, Defendants, Antechamber 5. Dun dun! I can't believe it. I can't believe what's happened. I made it. I defended myself and made it through the horrendous trial. Rinosuke, you finally pulled it off. Congratulations. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Kazuma. <laughs> no, no, it was a pleasure to watch you work. So, you owe me an extra large sukiyaki from the place on Unime University Street. Don't forget. Good afternoon. All your hard work has certainly paid off. Eh? Misato! Misato? Congratulations to both of you for proving your Haruhuto san's innocence. Hey, thanks for walk. Thanks for coming in, Man of Mercy. You have a good one, right? But that get easy, you. brother. It's a stepping by. Ah, our trusty judicial assistant. You worked hard for that result, too, you know. Oh, no. I didn't do anything. Thank you so much. If we hadn't had that research report of Miss Bright's, I don't know how things would have turned out. Your kind words should really be for your father. For my, for my father. I was simply doing as he asked. It was his idea for me to go to the university and investigate. A father? Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me for intruding on court proceedings, Your Excellency. Susato Mikotoba, Judicial Assistant to the Defense. Uh, as I call him, Misato, it's Susato, okay. Susato. My bad. Speaking of Mikotoba. Ah, there you are. I believe congratulations are in order. There you are. Naruhodo, you did an excellent job. Thank you, Professor. Oh no, it is I who should be thanking you, after all. Your efforts exposed the true criminal that took the life of my good friend. Good friend? Oh yes. Oh yes, you mentioned that before. It was you who actually invited Dr. Wilson to Yume University, wasn't it? Yes, that's right. Professor Mikotoba studied overseas himself. He went to study forensic medicine in Great Britain. 
Presumably, that's when you met Dr. Wilson. Exactly. In those days, we worked together in the same hospital. Oh, you worked together? I've never heard you mention that before. Well, it was a long time ago now. Besides, it's your turn, Asogi. Great Britain is a magnificent country. It leads the world. In science, medicine, engineering, culture, and of course, in law. That is until America took over. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Had to. Watch and learn, my boy. My boy. See what's happening yeah. in the world's largest melting pot. I will. I'll learn all that I can. I swear on this, the spirit of the Asogi clan. Not taking that sword to Great Britain, are you? Of course I am. The Japanese man's katana is his soul. His blade shows me where I need to go. Yeah. It cuts down anything that's in my way. Yes, I've definitely seen how sharp it is already with my own eyes. That reminds me. What happened to the woman? Uh, to Giselle Brett, I mean. After all, she's guilty of murder. Ah, oh, yes, her. It's not easy to tell you this, but, uh... What do, you, what do you mean? Surely she's going to face trial herself now. She's the true culprit, after all. She will be leaving Japan in the very near future for Shanghai. What? Shanghai? Giselle Brett will not appear at court again in this country, I'm certain of that. What? What? Why not? I think this is you. I think this is you. Oh, um, it's a matter of consecular to jurisdiction. Sorry, I closed my eyes for a minute there. Sorry oh no, oh no, it was okay, oh, it was, never mind. Right, that was in was Naga. Naga. <clears throat> Oops. It was a hard-fought battle in the courtroom today. Very impressive to watch. I must congratulate- but, but what's all this about consular jurisdiction? We cannot try this particular foreigner for her crimes here in Japan. What? We can't try her? But then who- who's going to bring her to justice? A British consular court with her case somewhere far away where our voices can't be heard. But why a consular court? Professor, I simply don't understand. I thought consular courts were a thing of the past now that we've signed the Friendship Treaty. Yes, in normal circumstances, you're right. Then, so long as this is not a serious incident of a highly political nature to our respective governments, they can't invoke a consular court just like that. Oh, can't they? Yes, she's a student, but it doesn't justify our government making secret agreements about her fate, does it? Something strange is going on here. The Miss Britt can't be held accountable for her actions here in Japan? I'm afraid that for the young student... Today's trial was nothing more than a game all along. There was never any danger of comeuppance for her. I don't believe it. The British government's Foreign Affairs Ministry has demanded that we hand over custody of Miss Brett. They're obviously taking this case of a foreign student committing murder very seriously. But it's all going to change from now on. We can make it change. This is a time of great turmoil. This new era heralded by the start of the 20th century. Cell phones! <laughs> One day, I have no doubt. That woman will receive the judgment she deserves. Yes, change is coming, and we're the ones driving it. Well, I think that's enough seriousness for now. This evening calls for a celebratory drink. But Professor! Right. There's no time for gloomy faces. We should be celebrating Ryunosuke's not guilty verdict. Let's start having some fun. Yeah. Metal Gear! Uh, gear. In that case, might I suggest La Carnival? As a head waiter, I should be delighted to provide you with ample food and drink. Um, you're a detective, Mr. Nagasa, aren't you? <clears throat> Let's not worry about the details for now. La Carnival! Will you accompany us, Professor? 
Of course, La Carnival's food is second to none. Oh, I shall go and attend to the paperwork for Narahodo-san's release. Oh yes, thank you. God, nothing like having the first trial of the game be utterly pointless. I know. No, Brett won't be tied here. I... I suppose that means I'll never know. I'll never find out why she killed Dr. Wilson. I get the feeling we're gonna run into her in England. Yep. Yes, yes Reno. Yes, Renosuke. I just wanted to say thanks again, that's all. You really saved my skin today. <laughs> I didn't do a thing. You were the lawyer in there. You know, that defense was all your own work. Skills made the difference. One day, I'll bet you'll be the best lawyer in the world. Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. To be honest, something kept occurring to me over again during that trial. I couldn't help thinking that maybe you're the one destined to become a great lawyer, not me. Yes! What? Come on, be serious! If I helped you today, it was only right at the very start of the trial. You have a natural talent for being a defense lawyer. No, not me. All that tense rubble combat? I never want to go through that ever again. Just do what you told me to do, that's all. Because I knew I could trust you. That's the point. What do you mean, that's the point? Listen, Rinosuke. I know what the most crucial weapon is that any lawyer needs in order to win. Um, knowledge of the law? No. Ability to believe. Believe what? The defense lawyer has to fight for his clients. He has to believe in them at all costs. Like you believed in me when I said I didn't do it. I'm human, just like you. I don't have some super human ability to know the truth. I have to make a choice about what to believe in and stick to it. Sometimes the corporate will be back in the corner. Being able to remain faithful to what you chose to believe in, even then. Well, that's not something that anyone can do. It takes a special kind of person. Believing in your client. Just look at today's trial. I'm a student lawyer with precious little real experience, but you'd never stop believing in me. Well, I face seemingly hopeless situations time and again, but you never stop looking for the truth. In the end, you found it through your own efforts, because you never stopped believing in me. <coughs> Thanks, Cosmo. <laughs> okay, water. We're almost done. Yeah. Thanks, Cosmo. There's something I want you to ask you, actually. Those gay. Well, it's a favor, really. <clears throat> something very important to me. Sounds serious. What is. Uh, oh, oh, you're damn still it. here, are you? Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, Inspector Hosanaga. We've arranged some rickshaws for us. Let's go. Thank you. I'll be right there. Let's pick up this conversation again later. We should be celebrating right now your first court victory. And your study to the Great Britain, don't forget. Ah, yes, that too. Who is fanning his headband? And we did it. So my very first trial came to an end. Kazuma, Professor Mikotova, Sosato-san, who acted as my assistant. Inspector Hosonaga didn't really play much of a part, but still. <laughs> <laughs> it was because of the help the support of all these people, and I managed to get through that trial. But more importantly, Kazuma hadn't yet managed to ask his favor of me. Little did I realize just how much it would change my life. We did it! We, we beat the first survived! Trial. Defense debut awarded! Yes, I will save yes. all my progress. And we'll 
I'm actually gonna take a little bit of a nap. I'm gonna take a nap because I, I honestly can't keep my eyes open. So we will do the investigation segment next time, where we will meet the one and only Herlock Sholmes. Herlock Sholmes, baby. Well, and I'm this, and I'm I, gonna try my and I'm gonna try my best not to fangirl. No promises. Well, you know I have. You know I got this ready in case you do. Oh, so bad. <laughs> Well, I guess that's a preemptive end to today's uh, festivities, guys. This is, will conclude today's episode of Shadow Star Plays. I want to thank everyone to come out, but uh, hey, uh, stick around because I think I might be streaming a little bit by myself after streaming. Actually, you know what? If you're gonna leave right now, guys, I don't mind, but I do want to point this out here. I hope you will join us, join me anyway, tomorrow. Uh, I'll be doing a solo stream. Uh, well, I'll be returning back to Los Santos doing my Grand Theft Auto V roleplay as Sick Rick Ricardo Johnson. And we're just going to see what shenanigans we're going to get into tomorrow. If you're, But if you plan on stick around, we'll just boot something up and we'll play it for the next couple of hours. But uh, until then, uh, but for now, uh, this is episode two. And uh, this is, uh, it's, just, it's always a fun time to be here with I Am Shadow. Always a pleasure. Yes. Are you, are you free next Monday? I should be. I'll let you know. All right. So until then, guys, enjoy. Uh, just assume that next Monday we're coming at you again, 3 p.m. EST, for another episode of Shadow Star, where we're going to finally meet the intrepid Herlock Sholmes. Yeah. Yes. That's going to be good. Uh, all right. I am Shadow. It's, 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 always, it's always a pleasure. Hey, you go ahead and enjoy that nap, all right? Thank you. Yeah, Bye, everybody. Night. Say goodbye, people. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, folks. So, what should we get into next? That's my question. We're already good. Let's see, uh... Always such a joy to have her on here. It really is. Uh, what can I get into today? Why don't I just... You know what? Tomorrow, the new Smash character's coming out. Why don't we get some Smash in? If anybody wants to play, uh, let me know in the chat. We'll, we'll, we'll do some Smash. Let me just uh, update. Um, let me just update the stream title here, very right quick. Whoa! I probably won't go too long after this. Um, I'm just gonna play, maybe play a few matches and then call it a day. I was kind of hoping to do the stream for longer. I don't mind it. So, where's the dashboard? Thank you. All right. Let me just update the stream title here. I'm gonna do hold on let me uh smish let me smish okay uh today is a good day folks i want to get some practice in so i'm gonna scan a couple of amiibos if i can and see if we can't get into some madness I can only use one. Hold on, I gotta get my joy cons out for this. Hey! Where are my other ones?
There we go. It's got this Pac-Man amiibo. I'm gonna train it for a little bit. And we'll throw in a couple of randos in there. God, it's so crazy how overpowered this guy is. Nope. You stop that right now. Let's drop the leg on him. You turn up the audio a little bit. How about the kicks? No. Oh fuck! No 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 no! Fuck. If I can hit, I gotta see if I can hit this grapple. Fuck! Never mind. Come on. That's a Nile combo. I love that. I hit, love hitting that thing. Ah, you bitch. Oh, you went down. Come 
Fuck. Cheesed me on that. Wait, what? Fuck. Wait! You can eat- oh, I didn't know you could eat items. Fuck. Metal Slug. I love Metal Slug. I have actually a Metal Slug 3. Um, this is just, uh, but it's just the music in the in the game. It's in the King of Fighters arena. I'm amazed we don't have like a metal slug characters in this game. Bitch. The fuck? I 
I actually enjoy the Metal Gear uh, mobile games. I think those are pretty good. So I don't, they're, they're a kind of a high level of fan service -y. I'll give you that. Fuck! I mean to waste it. Well, I guess that kind of worked out. Wait, what? Ah, this Pac-Man is too good. Fuck.
How is he level 30 and he's already this good? I created a monster, goddammit. I trained this guy too well. I trained him too well.
fuck. I'm. <sighs> I think I'm just going to stream for the next 20 minutes. Fuck. Fuck again every time. Continue. 
It's kill a man with a banana peel. What do you have to say about that? Not again. Not letting some deuce ex machina take me out. Off. Again. Wait, I won? I'm confused. <laughs> oh. Snake. Then here. I feel like I'm just winning this by chance. Bonus stage.
God, I always miss that. Final round. Mother! Continue. I don't like spending my tickets. Nice work. Ugh, I'm never gonna get that ten. Ten has eluded me.
<laughs> okay, that picture is kind of funny. I'm the boxer man. Ooh, perfect. Ready? <laughs> Okay, I think we're going to get it this time. Ready? Go! Ah, fuck, no. Doesn't expect it. No. Take outs. Take outs. Come on, I need that ten. I gotta get the ten. Mirror match. Nope. Up, 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 up. No, 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 no. Fuck, I wasted it. Come on. 
Wait, what? Oh, he countered. Oh, fuck. Like, so close, man. Fucking. I'm gonna get that 10 if it kills me. Block, block. Got him. The better KO one. Fuck. Hurt my hurt my numbers. Ready? Go. Float like a butterfly, come on. Fuck. Just right out of my range. Hi. Hey, it is. Oh, I love. Okay, that pose is kind of sweet. Looks like he's wiping his chin. Okay, there's still a chance. There's still a chance. Come on. On a stage. Okay, you're a speedy guy. Go. Okay, if I fall off, I'm going to be pissed. Oh god, oh god, okay, can't think about it, can't think about it! No, no! No! Ah, oh, fuck! Every time! With this shit! I can never get that one alcove with extra money. I can never get it. The hands, baby, catch these hands. Let's go. No, 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 fuck. I can hit him. No, let go of me, let go of me, let go of me.
Fuck. Oh, this is just getting painful now. Last ticket. Fuck. the intensity to go down you bitch fuck I'm pissed fuck Never break the nine. I just wanted the ten, man. Bandai Namco. <laughs> I always like these fan pictures. They are like funny. They're funny. Okay. 
Ooh, that's a lot of them. Jesus, is that many? Oh, I got a class, the music. Eh, I guess it was worth the spending, I guess. Now I don't have any tickets. Fuck. All right. This is where I'm going to end the stream, guys. It's been a great day. We got a lot of stuff accomplished, and I finally sound decent on stream for once. Which is good. So, I'm off. Uh, not going to raid anyone because I don't have enough people to do so. But I hope you guys will be here tomorrow night. Uh, probably around 6. I think I'm going to do a little earlier, so 6. We're going to be doing some uh, GTA 5 RP. The Ballad of Sick Rick. Ricardo Jansen. So we're going to see how that goes, see what I can get into tomorrow. Uh, we're just going to have a little fun. You know, we're not going to, I'm not, it's going to be a chill time. We're just going to get into some shenanigans, some good stuff. So uh, until next time, guys, I uh, hope you guys have a great night. Uh, um, you know, it's great to be back. So uh, thank you guys so much. And uh, everybody have a beautiful, beautiful night. I love you the fuck out of y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Stay awesome. Now I'm got to now I'm got to now I'm got to now I'm got to now I'm got to